Acosta, we're the coordinators of this pageant. Um, as coordinators, we'd like to welcome students, family, and friends to the sixth annual Mr. Wolverine pageant. Over the past three months, the 11 guys you're about to meet have put in countless hours of hard work and dedication to entertain you and to raise money to support the children of this community. Tonight, you will have the opportunity to learn the real meaning of this pageant. Without further ado, I'd like to introduce the Mr. Wolverine contestants. I don't know where they're coming. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. 
Tempo.
escorted by Courtney and Kyle Smith.
ladies and gentlemen, and finally we have Ray Suit, escorted by Bryson Suit.
fine talents, is that word fine in quotes? Uh, fine, fine talents. We have created the My Hero segment, and this is really interesting because the guys get to perform a skit of their favorite hero. So they're the ones that came up with this. Yeah, this says a lot about who they are as people. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you're ready, are we ready for this? Judges, are you enjoying this so far? Okay. After that two-piece bathing suit, judges, I really feel for you. I really do. Uh, first up, put your hands together for Rick Bennett as Aretha Franklin. since they were nominated, picked, selected to participate in this. Um, a lot of things happen that, that, that are very mem memorable uh, during your high school years. First kiss, first date, maybe in that order. Um, get the car, license, that yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. But this is something that they're going to take with them for the rest of their lives. And this is why we, in, in, in what we do uh, in the media, we are, we're pretty picky about what, we like these, we love these kind of stories where we see kids doing positive things within our community here, helping others. I think the title pretty much says it all, Kids Helping Kids. And I think the kids would like to hear your round of applause for support, Kids Helping Kids. Raising some money tonight. For the Brandon Furlong as a sad little midget. I know that feeling too. to go 
get a laugh. <laughs> There's no way I can reach the phone because my body's not fully grown. <laughs> I wish that I could find a friend so this song would come to an end. <laughs> Jackie came down. 
look out first on Puff's gigantic tail. <laughs> Together, plus one, it's been bad whenever they came. Pirate ships would lower their flags when Puff roared out his name. <laughs> then, then again, lived by the sea and followed in the
exercises by jogging around his wallet, so. <laughs> and he's not playing baseball anymore. No, no, yeah. he's gonna feel pretty Thank miserable. Thank goodness for that. Uh, listen, y'all. No, oh, sorry, we're, we're past Garden, are we? Uh, we have a dedication involved with this, with the next one. Is that right? That's right. Take care of that. That's right. Uh, Darren Ambrose uh, wants to do an Al Green song. How many people are old enough to remember Al Green? I do. Thanks, Mom. Uh, he would like to he'd like to dedicate this to Iverson Lee and, of course, uh, Andrea Lee too. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Darren Ambrose as Al Green. <laughs> Don't know. 
the one who wrote this song. I'm on a mission in a major way. I'm out to save some babies today. Can I get a perm? Perm for girls? What are you talking about, huh? Don't you read Teen Magazine? 
Man, everybody has perms now, chicks, do you? No, no, I'll give you a high and tight. You want a high and tight? Everybody, everybody has a high and tight. No, I made it up here. I'm high and tight, huh? That does sound good. Okay, I'll give me a high and tight.